How's it hanging everyone? It is Andrew here from iDownloadBlog and most of you probably have just jailbroken your iOS 9.3.3 devices. Well, unfortunately when that happens, if you do not uncheck the checkbox through the setup process, you're going to end up with this PP App Store on your device instead or alongside of Cydia and most people don't really want that there. So let's take a look at how to remove it if you did have that installed during the jailbreak process. So on your lock screen, you're gonna have this P looking icon and if you launch that, it's going to basically be a foreign looking version of the App Store or Cydia. And it takes a second to load, but you have an ad here, I guess, and then just a bunch of stuff in here. And unless you speak Chinese or whatever language this may be in, it's not a lot of use. So we're gonna go back to Cydia, we're going to go to installed and you can look under recent or wherever it may be but you'll notice there is an option for that pp app store we're going to go ahead and hit remove and as always just hit confirm it's going to run through that process reload the data and allow you to uh, respring your device and head back to Cydia. so that's all you have to do really to actually remove that once you do that, it'll be completely gone. It'll be gone here inside of Cydia. It'll no longer be listed. And on your uh, your home screen, you'll notice the app, the icon is completely gone. Just if you removed any app or any other tweak that you had installed in the past. So yes, I apologize. This may be uh, fairly basic for some of you out there, but a lot of people were asking how to get rid of that. So we just wanted to put this quick tutorial out there to let everyone know. If you guys have any other questions, I will do my best to answer them down in the comments below. So please go ahead and leave your questions down there. Otherwise, go ahead and subscribe to this for other cool jailbreak tweaks and videos. Otherwise, until next time, this has been Andrew for iDownloadBlog.